Now, hate... <laughs> hate is an extremely strong word. Uh, but... Yeah, I hate this shit. What's up, guys? HMK once again, and I'm put. In, I'm now put in a very particular environment or predicament where, like, I, I have these emotions. It's it's like it's swelling up of of laughter and rage. I'm like. It, it, this is funny, but I'm mad at the same time. Oh my fucking god, IGN, what the fuck is wrong with you? So, IGN back at it again. Remember, Crash Course, I hate IGN. IGN fucks up with Kingdom Hearts. At this point, you can't even, you can't defend them at this point. And all these people are like, oh, IGN doesn't mean it. IGN can make mistakes. IGN are human too. Listen, 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 listen. IGN is a journalism media outlet. All right, they have editors, they have editors in chief. They have people that supposed to overlook these articles before they go out. They're supposed to approve these videos and articles and make sure that everything is tip top. All the information is correct. Everything is spelled correctly. But nah, we should give them a pass because you know they're humans. No, 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 fuck that shit. So. Very recently, and everyone else was like, gave their thoughts and stuff, I'm like, yo, this shit is hype. But very recently, IGN released a video called Top 10 Games Releasing in 2017. And guess what was on their list? Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, before I get into the real meat of this, do not get me wrong. I would love for Kingdom Hearts 3 to be released on, in 2017. I would adore that fact. 2.8, yeah! 1.5 plus 2.5, yeah! Kingdom Hearts 3! <laughs> Fuck yeah. But, the problem is, the issue is, it's not confirmed, it's not fact. This game has not been delayed because we never got a release date for it. Yet, people are like, oh, this game is getting delayed, it's gonna get delayed. They even put a fucking disclaimer in their video at the beginning that, oh, these, these games could get delayed, or delays could happen again to these games, even though Kingdom Hearts 3 has never been delayed, and Kingdom Hearts 3 has never been given a release date. So, with that being said, they list Kingdom Hearts 3 as a game that will release in 2017. Alright, facts are facts, people. I would love for the game to come out in 2017. Everyone would, but there is a principle that everyone needs to adhere to when they have to contribute news to the masses, and that is get the facts right. I Kingdom Hearts is my second favorite video game series of all time. I would love for it to come out in 2017, but I'm not gonna give you guys misinformation just because I love the game. No, that's not how it works. All right, so IGN. Even though they show footage of 2.8 and Dream Drop Distance, they're like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out. Yeah, 2017. Awesome. No! Not fucking awesome. And the issue with this, the big issue that I have with this and everyone else has with this is that IGN, and I said this in my last fucking rant, that was literally days ago. IGN and any other big gaming media outlet have a astronomical amount of followers. Alright? IGN has like 7 million subscribers on their YouTube. That's just their YouTube. Twitter, Twitch, their own site, Facebook. They have a huge spread when it comes to reaching people, right? So when you give this kind of information to people that don't really follow Kingdom Hearts, but you know, are, are interested in Kingdom Hearts and just, you know, they keep hearing things about Kingdom Hearts 3, those people like, oh, I play Kingdom Hearts 1, I play Kingdom Hearts 2, when is Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out? And then they get this information, people are going to believe them and be like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3, yeah, yo, guy, did you know that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out in 2017? IGN said so, <laughs> oh my fucking God. No, wrong, bad. You stop that shit right now. All right? And that's what happens, and it's gonna happen. Not, it's not gonna happen to everyone, and it's not gonna happen to like everyone that has a brain cell, but I mean, at the same time, you can't call these people dumb to believe IGN, because IGN has to, like, they're, they're huge. And for the most part, people believe them to be a reputable source. So when they see that shit, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 is confirmed for 2017. All right. No, it's not. Guys, I would love for it to be confirmed for 2017, but it's not confirmed for any year. The only games that are coming out next year for Kingdom Hearts 
2017 is 2.8 and 1.5, 2.5. January, March. Three is not confirmed. I would love for three to come out to season, but no. And then the funny thing is, and I'm so glad I did this video later, is that they fucking stumble upon themselves trying to like fix this mess. One thing they did is that in the video they put an annotation over Kingdom Hearts 3. They're like, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and 3. No! No! Don't try to fucking mess that shit up. Don't try to save yourselves. Don't put 2.8 and 3 to try and like, oh yeah, 2.8 and 3, guys. No! 2.8. And 1.5 plus 2.5. 3 is not confirmed for 17. Alright? And then later on, they put a comment. It was like, oh yeah, guys, mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. You know, it's cool, but mistakes happen. Do not entertain the fucking notion of thinking that we, like, yeah, mistakes happen, guys. It's, a, it's, it's fine. No, it's not. Alright? If a content creator, a person, one person running their channel, the same me, say someone else in the Kingdom Hearts community, if I make a mistake, I have to own up with, uh, own up to it. I can't be like, mistakes happen, guys. You know, shift the blame. No, if I make a mistake, and I have before, I will say, guys, I made a mistake. This is wrong information. Either I take down the video or I put a big annotation only if the information was a, you know, a little off. If, though, if I make a video, that had a good amount of information that was true, but then one part that was off, I'm gonna leave it on. But if the entire video in itself is false, I will take it down because it's false information. And I, of course, I'll apologize whenever I get the chance to my followers, my viewers on Twitter or on the YouTube video itself. I would say I was wrong, but wrong, a false information, and I apologize. Should have done more research, that's me. I'm not saying that there's various levels of accountability, but when I'm one person, I own up to that shit. IGN has God know how God knows how many workers that are paid to bring you guys the news, the right news, unbiased. How many people there? And how many people have jobs to make sure this shit doesn't happen? I'm one guy. I don't have a fucking editor in chief. I don't have a person to you know uh, look over that shit. And because of that, I have to own up to my mistakes. When I get some shit wrong, I say I was wrong. But no, like, yeah, mistakes happen. Shifting the blame. Don't worry, guys, we're human. To human is to earth. So you can't, you cannot use, you can't defend them. You cannot use the excuse on them as like, oh, mistakes happen. No. When I used to write for Real Otaku Gamer, I had an editor. And then when every time I made a, a, an article, sometimes I'll wait a week before that goes up to make sure everything is right. And he'll approve it. And then we out. No, but IGN willy-nilly, let's go. You can't defend them at this point. You really can't. And this is, and like, it, it keeps happening. It keeps happening. The whole reason why this thing, why IGN has such a bad name is like, oh my god, everyone's harassing IGN. Oh my god, the IGN hate bandwagon. Oh my god, why? It's cool to hate IGN. They brought this shit on themselves. It's their fault. They gotta deal with this kind of shit. It's not like, okay, let's um let's find someone to hate. No. Jesus fucking Christ. And then, you know, at the same time, I gotta <laughs> I gotta thank IGN at the same time because man oh man, it's so fun to rip them the new asshole every time they fuck up like this shit. And they keep doing it. They keep fucking doing it. And at this point, it's like, it's it's I, I'm looking at this shit and I'm like, are they really this fucking dense? Or they're just, just doing this on purpose to trigger Kingdom Hearts fans. And both are really fucking horrendous. They're at, if, if they're that dense, I'm like, boy, you hire some new people. If they're doing this shit on purpose, scumbags. Scumbags as fuck. They're doing this just for the views because they know they're going to trigger other Kingdom Hearts fans. And then people are going to retaliate. And then they get views. And then this shit happens. But hey, let's throw out. All right, journalistic integrity, just for views, just for clicks, all that shit. Let's tell a lie that will make people mad and then reroute that hatred back to our videos. It's no biggie. It's no biggie at all. And if that's the truth to it, that is beyond scum. That's the salt of the earth type shit. And then when you look at that, and if that is the truth, how can you defend IGN at this point? How can you... How can you trust them in good faith at this point? 
with the Kingdom Hearts stuff. That is a that is an astronomical fuck up. All right, the whole fact that like yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 is released in 2017. It is not. It is not confirmed. If it happens, hooray! But at the same time, I'm not gonna go and be like, oh yeah, IG was right. And I swear to God, that shit might happen. Those there might be those fucking assholes, those idiots that are out there. They were like, oh, when Kingdom Hearts 3 does get confirmed for 2017, oh yeah, IGN was right. Yeah, it might happen six months down the line, but IGN was right. No. They fucking weren't. There are so many people that are like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 could release in 2017, but we look at that with a speculative view, and we're allowed to do that shit. But at the same time, we're not going to be like, called it, because we're not fucking stupid, because that it's not confirmed. But when people are like, yeah, they called it. No, they were just doing that shit just to make views, just to make clicks, just to get people's hopes and dreams up. There could be a very good possibility that it does, but you can't force news onto people saying that it is when it isn't. Do it when it's confirmed. Jesus Christ Almighty! My God, it's this is this is fun. This is hilarious. This is so fucking great. And then people still defend these asshats. People still defend this shit. Like you, you have to know. When these people fuck, you have to acknowledge that these people fuck up. You can't be like, oh yeah, IGN will be IGN. No! Despite all their fuck ups, you still need to hold them to that standard that they are, they, they present themselves as a media journalism outlet. Alright? And then you would think that people who go out and work for IGN, people who write these articles, people who look at over these articles and videos as supposedly their editor in chief, there's high end editors that are supposed to look over this, you would think that they'll hold on to a shimmer of a journalistic integrity when they decide to take up this career path, all right? And that's why I'm holding on to it, and that's what pisses me off at the end of the day, all right? It's what they are. Trust me, if IGN, if IGN was simply content creators making videos like this, just making just making videos, um, you know, they sure they relay news and they make funny videos, they make fun of uh, Kingdom Hearts all the fucking time, I wouldn't get mad. Because they can do that shit. They're content creators. That's what they want to spread to people. That's what people want to see when they go to them. If people hate Kingdom Hearts and they spread that hate as content creators, what can I get mad for? That's their content. That's them. They're, that's their group. They want to do that shit. More power to them. Fuck off, but still. You know? But no, they're not content creators. Alright? They're journalists. They're a media outlet. They have to hold themselves to that standard that they chose for their fucking careers. And that career is to bring the news to the people as unbiased as you can. The straight facts. News. You, you should have that, you know, perspective going into journalism. You, have, you should have that need to bring the truth to the people. Despite everything, find the scoop, you know? Do that shit. But nah, this is what they do instead. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. 2017 is gonna be so fucking fun. It's gonna be hilarious. But yeah, my disdain for IGN still stands. And people flamed on me. People thought I was crazy. People thought I was boy hurt. And I'm like, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. Days after I put out my last round, they do this shit. Look at this. And the funny thing is, and the thing that warms my heart that is, that, that's going on is that our voice, that voice is getting bigger and louder in there because they're starting to feel it. And they're starting to feel it with every fucking passing day. And that shit is the best. All right? Now, to end off this video, do not get me wrong. My disdain for IGN is burning as burning bright as ever. But at the same time, like I said, like I said, when I hold them to that principle of them being journalists, all right, bringing the news to the people, I don't want them to stop doing this shit when it comes to trying to bring news to Kingdom Hearts. Because there could be some people at IGN that legitimately want to bring the facts, especially when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, all right? For the longest, I'm like, stay away from Kingdom Hearts News until you get someone who can get the facts right, who is educated on this series and can do the job right. Once you do that, 
We good. We Gucci. I'm not going to forget the fuck-ups you did in the past, but get someone who knows Kingdom Hearts. Get someone who will look up on the fact. Get someone who won't fuck up this much on Kingdom Hearts. You have so many people with other series that fucking get on top of that shit. So get someone. Because, you know, <laughs> Mario Silva ain't cutting it. Do that shit, IGN. Hold yourself to that principle that you claim that you are. Journalists, journalism, media. Get someone who will respect the Kingdom Hearts series and bring news the right way. If you guys are content creators, I don't give a fuck about what you guys do. That's your own content, but you guys aren't. You guys are journalists. Act like it! So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xanus off.